everyone, angels around. This is still Teacher Kimi of Kimi Pija, and welcome to my channel. Tonight, I am. I have actually been uh, doing this the whole week. I am trying to write down as many research titles that I could, but I think my brain is not at that particular level when it just absorbs everything interprets everything and can actually produce anything that i want to produce so uh pagdamutan nyo na ang mga nagawa kong research titles this time so all of these research titles may actually resonate or it may not resonate with you depending on where you are now i would like to start by telling you again of the different types of qualitative research so if you haven't read about the different types of qualitative research please go to my channel and look for that particular video where i i have also tried to give uh, different uh, examples per type of qualitative research now let's proceed. I'm feeling nervousness. So let's edit this part out. I want to start with dealing with social media and internet use. So the topic, the bigger topic that we have is social media and internet use. And these days, this particular topic is at its highest or at its peak. So social media and internet use is just part of the um, information and communication technology, that large portion in the in information and communication technology takes up a lot of social media and of course the use of internet for daily living. Now I have in here several uh, titles that you can work on. For example, title number one is from Agawan Base to Raiding Bases, a case study on mobile gaming among school age children. In this particular research, uh, you will be interviewing key informants that are school age children. So if you want to be specific, you can write in here an a student of certain elementary school or whatever you like. Uh, just the title of it is uh, is quite interesting. Uh, we have this particular type of, uh, of, of Filipino game called Agawan Base. Now, the, 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 the children of the same age during our time are actually doing raiding bases through Mobile Legends and other mobile games that that you know that facilitates or that that invigorates uh, uh, activities like raiding bases. Ganyan. So nagbabarilan sila, may, may violence pang kasama yan. The number two that I have in here is adopting well, FBUs among elderlies. So dito nilagyan ko na ng open and close parenthesis yung uh, of Barangay Rawis Liwon Albay because uh, you can uh, you can be specific with your research if you put a certain uh, place where your study is going to be conducted or uh, have been conducted. Now, this particular type of research is something that I have already offered one of my classes and, uh, and they tried to deal with it. And based on our um, research, there are actually quite a lot of references or related literature regarding uh, FBUs among elderlies and how uh, our lolos and lolas are actually enjoying FBUs for communication purposes and for self-expression to communicate with their loved ones, of course. The number three I have written in here is social media use among senior high school students. So this is a very common title, but you can uh, recreate that particular title into a more appealing one. For example, you can say, um, um, Sikat Ako, How to be Famous on Social Media According to the Senior High School Learners, or um, the concept of fame among senior high school learners because these senior high school learners or 
even junior high school learners are at the point in their lives where they need validity all the time. So these people would seek to be recognized and they would make use of social media to be recognized. Well, I'm not asking for an argument, but if you would like to argue, just go for it. Now, let's go with number four. Number four I have written in here is cyberbullying as experienced by the freshman students. Or cyberbullying in general is a very nice topic, very in demand. You, you can have uh, you can have related literature coming from the news or coming from the television uh, or coming from the newspaper saying, uh, talking about some children or some teenagers who have killed themselves because of feeling, feeling ashamed, feeling unworthy. So uh, cyberbullying is timely and relevant to our country, which is the Philippines. Wow. Okay. You also have in here Facebook use among uh, school-age children. So Facebook use among school-age children. So do you have do you know any school-age children who have Facebook? Definitely, I even know some babies with Facebook. So I do not know why these mothers are actually creating Facebook for for their children. I think for memory purposes, and that they are thinking that someday that for particular uh, social media platform, Facebook will stay and that all of their memories will be stored in the in the platform and that years from now, their own children would see what they have gone through and how or how much uh, they gave their attention and love to their children by, of course, the pictures, the videos that are posted online. So, I would also suggest, aside from this one, I would also suggest that you may study these parents or mothers particularly who are creating Facebook use of their children. Children are uh, particularly the babies, babies who cannot even, toddlers who do not even know yet how to make use of uh, of a cell phone to call their daddies. So that would be a very nice uh, research topic if you would like. So if you are someone who is taking TVLICT, that is a very good topic. Or even if you are someone who is taking uh, even STEM and even uh, GAS or UMS, that topic is very much suitable for you. Another one in here is the lived experiences of Comsai graduates from Rawis Libon Albay. So my students in uh, in the school where I am teaching are actually taking up TVLICT, specializing on CSS or Computer Service uh, Services system services computer system services and i actually asked them to create uh, some type of research like this which are aligned to their uh, specialization and they would like that on the other hand i don't think uh, a group or a team has been successful in conducting this type of of study so the lived experiences of whatever graduate it is if you want to be uh if you if you are in humes for example humanities and social sciences you would like to pick along with sociology graduates or the social workers lived experiences of social workers in tondo manila or wherever you are very pageanty okay or wherever you are the, the experiences of social workers with 4Ps or the lived experiences of different types of professionals that directly correlates with the type of specialization that you have. For example, you are, um, you are taking up STEM, so you would like to study the lived experiences of scientists or of doctors or of engineers or of math teachers or of people who are uh, using their math skills for any other type of job. So different professionals directly aligned with the type of specialization that you have, you can use the lived experiences uh, type of study in here. 
Now, another one that I am very interested with, I hope someone catches this, is Into the Known, the travails of novice vloggers. I think one of the students in YouTube has asked me about a topic on social media and I have given him this and he was very happy. So the title that I have given him is Into the Known, the travails of novice blog vloggers. So these days, there are many many people who seeks to record their daily lives who wants to give joy to other people who wants to share their hobbies their passion and interest through vlogging so vlogging has become uh, our medium of communication that's why i myself have already tried vlogging and you just do not know how much uh how much hesitation, how much doubt I have, and even uh, reservations that I have with starting this passion project. So please, uh, please be, uh, be kind with me. You can like and subscribe. And of course, you can streamline all my videos so that I could increase uh, the number of views that I have and try to recommend these videos to your classmates. You know what? Teaching other people and recommending uh, this by recommending this particular video would seek that you will also become successful in your own lives. It will add value to your life because you are helping other people. Now, I also have in here, aside from Into the Known, you can understand what Into the Known means. So, it, it is a very catchy phrase because this term comes from the Disney's Frozen, the, the Frozen 2 installation of from the Disney. So, uh, do you know that song? That, Into the Unknown. So, that is very catchy. And I really like this title also. It sounds so great. So... If you are someone who wants to start doing this research, you may go for it. But I would like to uh, to remind you that you should not be someone who is trying the vlogging thing. You should be someone who is an outsider. So whenever you are creating uh, a qualitative research, uh, those key informants must be people with a different passion or interest than you. So it means that... Uh, you should not be a vlogger or a novice vlogger if you want to take up this particular research title because you wanted to be an outsider to the world of the new novice vloggers or new vloggers. Now, the next one I have in here is entitled Bakla ng Taon, The Rise of a Vlogging Community. So, I was thinking if I, I would write the, ri the rise of the vlogging communities or it is just the rise of a vlogging community. So if it is just the rise of a vlogging community uh, and you are someone near the Bakla ng Taon group, the BNT production, I love these guys, you know. Aya is actually my favorite. Uh, I love these guys. They are very funny. And I love that they have mentorship under... Uh, under Lloyd Cafe, Cadena, and that is very, very sweet. In times like this, we all need mentorship. Uh, crying, charot. So, Bakla ng Toon, the rise of a vlogging community, will give us a case study on how the BNT production started and how the BNT production uh, managed their, you know, their difficulties with dealing with one another. The, dealing with the other uh, vlogging communities out there because I have seen that some other vloggers in the Philippines are actually creating their own troupe. So they go together, uh, they go for a ride or a vacation together, they do collaboration, a lot of collaboration I have seen these days. Last in this list is the so-called Twitter versus FB versus Instagram. Teenagers take on various social platforms. So that is just, this one is a very simple title, but you can, uh, you can create a much more interesting title that uh, you can use in your own research. I do not even know. I feel that this particular type of research study can be somewhat controversial but i would like to hear from you guys if you would like to really take up this type of research it would be very very good so before we end this uh this research sample research titles so and then and dami pa dyan, susunod so isama na natin dito yung 
Asan na dito? Meron pa dito social media. Ayan. Ay, wala na. Ay, we have in here. Ito na lang. Okay. Another one from social media and ICT is, uh, is the content and discourse analysis of youth video tutorials on CSS. This type of research has been already conducted by my learners in senior high school, of course, because they are... Um, they are uh, TVL ICT students taking up CSS and their majorship or specialization subject is of course CSS and we would like to see the content and the discourse of those video tutorials found on YouTube. Also, I have in here student-made video tutorials on YouTube. This one produced or uh, actually engaged my student students into producing uh, their own videos on CSS and these uh, videos underwent uh, content and discourse analysis by the local experts that we have at our school. Now I have here number three, how did mobile legends or mobile games, whatever, affect you? So this should have, um, this should have, oh, shit, nahulog pagula. This should have, um, quote unquote, they should have quote unquote. Now, uh, how did Mobile Legends affect your responses of the honor students of RHS? So, uh, RHS is the high school that I go to, and you can also put in here certain uh, certain location or so certain subject that will define where did you conduct that particular study. So, asking them how do mobile uh, legends affect them their studies or their personal uh, personal emotions even their attitudes on school with their parents with their with the household chores is the best thing that you can do so that you can uh, tell other people if, if it may have disadvantages or even tell other people if you find out in your themes that it may have uh, positive effects actually so that would be all for this particular part. Uh, angels around everyone and thank you for listening.